few could have predicted the incredible impact teenage swimmer Taylor Ruck would have at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. The star Canadian youngster Taylor Ruck. Her eight medal haul cemented her place in the record books and the hearts and minds of her proud nation. Of course. I think she'll hold on. Ruck, Titmus, it's close. It's very close. Ruck wins the gold. A games record, a wonderful swim, 154-81, breaking McKeon's record. Just looking back on it, it's been the most fun meet of my life so far. So getting eight medals is just amazing. And I, I'm just so grateful just to be able to call myself a Canadian. We've been watching our, both of our kids play sports since they were really young, so it's, we're used to watching the kids do their thing. But you know, I guess on a stage where you have 10, 12,000 people here to preliminaries, that's what kind of gives you a little bit of nerves. It's a big stage. You're both Canadian, but when she was a baby, you guys decided to move to Scottsdale, Arizona. I pitched it at Sophia, and we had just had Taylor. It was, uh, she was just a new little baby, and we didn't think we'd be there for more than really a couple, a couple of years. years. And yeah. now we've been there like 17 years. We lived in an apartment complex that had a pool. So when I was cooking dinner, Colin would take her out and swim, or if he was barbecuing, he would just put her in the water. And she'd be in her diaper. And then she loved to be dunked at the to, right to the bottom of the pool. No fear, no <laughs> Well, if her, if her mom would have saw that, it <laughs> would have been really bad. We put an end to that. Right, so, yeah. right. But I, I just kept dunking her, and she'd just come up for air and go, mo, mo, mo. <laughs> Ruck looking very strong now, making a push. Ruck trying to get there for silver, and she'll get the bronze. No, it's a tie for silver. That's how close it is. I started out swimming with this lady called Kim Fortney, and it was in her backyard pool, and when we used to practice size, we, pra we would just like jumped off of her uh, like waterfall with the rocks. And it was like, <laughs> that you? was our dive practice. Um, <laughs> you could be diver to <laughs> Basically, no, I mean, <laughs> but yeah, that was probably like eight. So yeah, that was when I started. Um, but from there, we went to a fitness club where a coach there just kind of came up to me one day and said, hey, that kid needs to go to an organized club. And did she show like competitive spirit from the very beginning? Always, just always. She's, she's always been that kid that uh, she loves to win. As Taylor prepared for the biggest test of her young career, her family was stranded at their home in Arizona without the opportunity to watch their daughter compete at her first ever games. That was until they got a surprise call. Yeah, we were all yeah. set up at home to watch. Yeah. Uh, and then starting to find out well we can't watch it because that's geo block yeah. so we we're like getting panicked and then and then uh, we were actually thinking about flying up to Kelowna so just so we could watch and then I got a call from yeah. uh, the zone and, and said man we'd love for you to watch yeah. let's go and so we both yeah. cried we couldn't believe it and what a gift and just a complete I feel once in a lifetime yeah, we just you dropped everything. We well, lost it. it and was, the date of the flight was April first, so we thought, or, is this an April Fool's <laughs> joke? Like we really didn't know. And then, but yeah, just amazing. Like, the zone is yeah. the bomb. <laughs> She's flying home. Ruck seems to be struggling just a little. She's still in front. Can Titmus get there? Ruck's in front. I think she'll hold on. Ruck, Titmus, it's close. Ruck wins the gold. Titmus the silver, and McKeon the bronze. A games record. Do you guys go crazy in the stands? What kind of watchers are you, Sophia? Like I scream. <laughs> You're that kind of mom. And I usually lose my voice by the end of the meet. Um, this time I kind of lost it on that first, like it just was surreal. Was I screaming? I think at the end you were, yeah. I was fist pumping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't really hear her screaming, but I always, my dad always shows me like videos of her screaming and she has like the most char like characteristic scream. Like I know it's her. any moments from this competition that really stand out based on your medals? I think I'm most proud of the gold medal just because I didn't really expect getting that, like going into the meet. So just coming out with a gold medal was just amazing. Representing Canada, Taylor Rock. Taylor would have developed on a certain trajectory anyway, because she wants it. She is maximizing her potential right now, and she's realizing she has the potential to be one of the best in the world. You can see it in her eyes that there's even more there. 
I just have such big, I guess, dreams, especially going into 2020, Tokyo 2020. So yeah, I definitely am ready to put my head down and work somewhere. Taylor, good job, kiddo. Proud of you. We're so proud of the condition of your heart, that you are humble, and uh, we love you.